On the second time when I was using my uh, Phantom 4, I used this with the Fat Shark goggles. And I found out that the range of the transmitter is not really very large. After 450 meters, the video got bad uh, and I, I even lost signal and I was like, I had to stop flying. For me, it's like, ah, this is not enough. So I looked on the internet and I found something from the swarm and, and I think this, this is the best antennas available so there's a there's a warning here and this is this is something you know when installation of this product is complete the antenna must be attached and properly plugged in before powering on the controller irreversible damage to the controller may occur if powered on with no antenna attached i'll put this here I have to remember this so this is what you get I ordered this especially I paid I paid for this too you don't get it automatically but this is the antenna the new antenna what I got here I go to the website of dbsmods.com where I buy the antenna and they have a video for the phantom 4 phantom 3 pro etc and this is how they're gonna do it so i'm gonna watch the video and i'm gonna do exactly what they show over here you need one of these and then this comes off a little bit difficult because there's a plug in here so I will get my screwdriver in here just to help it get off like this and then it clicks off but this is only because I have the HDMI module this thing and then they want me to remove this stuff and I'd like to do this with my nails because yeah I got it here that's one this one I like to do is my screwdriver this one too all right and then we need to unscrew this and then we gotta pull this gently easier to put this off and then this and then take this and then pull it all right okay so we got we have to remove the the rubber pads over here and then these little ones okay okay so there are screws over here and they want you to just free this one up and then and screw the screws I see I removed the whole plate but I didn't have to do that grab the bar with four fingers and push on the antenna base with your thumb until the it pops the cover open like this that's something oh it's not that difficult okay they say you can use a razor blade and cut it out and maybe you can save your original antennas but they say it's possible that you damage the other cables in here I'm, I'm gonna try to save them and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to 
grab this like this I'm not gonna use a knife or razors I'm just gonna try to pull this out because like this so far I am not damaging anything look how easy that is you see I did not need any razors just use this same procedure over here look it comes off completely you see and I can totally get this out without damaging this all right I think I better do this one first mm, like this it's coming there's a screw over here and that's blocking the way this screw I cannot pull it out further than this I think I'm gonna loosen up the board and because there's only a screw over here like this I'm gonna, gonna grab this with this one and I think I can lift the board I can I have to be careful not to damage anything else and now it easily comes off All right. the other one same procedure I can easily remove it now I think maybe put that one here and then yeah, it easily comes off I cannot really pull this through over here you see this what what's happening is this is in the way and I really don't want to damage that thing so I'm gonna try to pull it out here it's two of them and I think I got a little bit more space now yeah I got it it's down there but it's still it's still stuck you know I cannot pull it through I'm gonna retry this and now I have to turn it 90 degrees so that it will be laying flat I try to turn the wire on this side yeah which which is kind of working and then give it a little extra here yep it is and it is further but now it's stuck over here yeah I got it I got it out and it's complete thing is when you get it out it's like this this thing is like this and then you cannot pull it so you have to turn that thing like this and then it slides under it and you can get it out I don't like to cut stuff because then I can never go back to the original now we need the other one and the other one is over here it looks a little bit the same I'm just gonna take this this makes life a little bit easier and then guide this one through here I think it's the same problem over here but this one is easier You can easily get stuck with this when this point points upwards, you know. But you know, I got it out. I got it out and it's complete, it's not damaged, so I'm gonna put this screw back. Now we have to rem remove the antenna. And what they suggest in the video is just you just cut it off. But then it's broken again. 
I'm gonna try to remove them without breaking them. So I'm gonna pull the antenna as hard as I can and meanwhile I'll squeeze them. That's it's not easy at all. Yeah, I got it. It worked, but now you got the same problem over here. It's really tricky to get this plug through here. I think if I want to do this right, I have to unscrew this one. I'm just going to try that. And it looks like I get a little bit more space over here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, all right. But what I did to get it out was like put put it here and then and then just press like this and then and then it popped up. I'm gonna put this one back before I forget about it. So let's try the other one. I'm gonna pull and use the scissors. Yeah, there it is. It will pop out. You need to try a diff couple of times and in different directions, put the pressure. But then um, it will come out. All right, so we're gonna do some drilling. You will see two circular impressions on the inside of the cover left over from the injection modeling whatever uh, yeah I can see that just get rid of all the rubbish they say that these um, these tiny pieces of plastic can jam the joystick if they're still in here so you you want to make sure that, that they're all gone all right so we're gonna put it in here there you go that's one okay, we're just gonna put it in here and that's it this one put it in here so this one will be going over here And then this one has to go in here. Yeah, it, it pops in, it pops in. All right, and now he wants me to put them like this and then glue them. First, put this down enough because I didn't glue that one and then like that and then we'll leave it like this and then this one and now i'm gonna put the glue here maybe a little bit here and here they want me to bend this a little bit like this and like this so now we can tighten these ones that will be all right the battery plug goes in here that's one and then this is going like this Also, if you want to replace this unit and have the HDMI port like I did, this is exactly what you do. I think it's better to just put it straight in, not like I did. 
yeah like this this is going well all right now it's in and lined up and I use my fingers to tighten that thing same over here I like to use my fingers because then I feel what I'm doing here also put the clips back now screw these in place it's two and three there's a little connector here so that needs to pop in and it goes quite easily there's a little space here and it needs to be exactly on top you can just click it on I think yeah you can here's the protection pack I ordered it too I thought for this extra ten dollars let's just do that and then bend it and put this one here and then turn it and put this one here this will not fit so I will always have to detach this and put it somewhere else which is a little bit of a pain but we will see how it goes so I'm gonna do a test now if everything is working it's warming up the emu says uh, warming up I got clear signal no problem at all and it's ready safe to fly